subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads. Hey guys and welcome back to Minister Alpha 18. As you guys can see we are here at the first Caitlyn trade on the map, second one being over there. And as you guys can see I put some barbed wire around this place and I decided to dig uh, down right here. Now I made this little hidey hole of here so that if zombies fall in after me because these turrets shoot the traders and the guards and stuff. So I put them downstairs and if a zombie were to follow me down, at least these turrets would kick in. Now, um, I was busy mining over here. I'll show you guys my progress that I've made. I was mining over here and I started going this way and got stuck over here because I was crouching due to the noise. And I noticed this. And I was talking to Kynes, apparently this is bugged. It's not supposed to look like this. I'll show you guys what it looks like inside now. But I basically found the resources I was looking for by accident, like this. As you guys can see, I have plutonium, uh, titanium, and uranium over here. And yeah, uh, because of that, I had to ballpark it of where that was over here. First tried that way, but I couldn't meet it up. And then over here, I came into this little section over here. As you guys can see, there's blocks hanging in the air. It's just really a mess. This over here is titanium. It has 5,000 HP per. And then over here... Well, there was a few boulders over here as well, but I don't think... Yeah, they disappeared now. There were two big boulders that didn't want to disappear last episode. Or last time I was here. Um, over here, we found the next one. Now, as you guys can see, it's small boulders. And when you break these up... I'm just going to show you guys this. You get uranium from this one. Uh, it all differs. It depends on the one. Sometimes you get uranium, sometimes you get plutonium. But this time, it seems like I'm only getting plutonium. Or the ura uranium. I'm not getting plutonium from this. Now, I'm guessing you need plutonium for the energy cells, right? Energy cell... No, you just need uranium. What do you need plutonium for? I have no idea what you're going to use. Uh, process might be used later. Might be of use later. Okay, so at the moment it doesn't have a use, as far as I can see. Anyways, um, what I want to do this episode, guys, is I want to go back to the base, because the steering and you guys said... Let's look at this. 7,873 uh, red uh, M4A1. Yeah, the info A1 sells for a lot, so if I can mass produce these and sell them to the traders, I'm going to have a ton of cash. And also, he said the small tech bunker is north of my base to, I, I think it's over there somewhere. It's where we, you know this train station thing we got over here or there? Uh, there's another one close by, and you just have to follow the gravel paths in here, and you'll actually uh, stumble across the small tech bunker. And then also, Sam de Groene suggested that after Horde Nights, I use my Lucky Looter goggles, and that's actually a clever idea. Because I always forget to use my... Oh, there's some plutonium. I always forget to use my Lucky Looter goggles when I'm out looting places. But after Horde Night, that's easy enough to remember. So I should really try and um, do that. And then also, KillerBunny264 um, suggested I start using titanium soon. And that's actually the whole reason why I'm mining over here. We need plutonium, uranium, titanium... With the amount of titanium I have on me, I think I have like a thousand, just to make sure. Yeah, um, I'm going to see how much titanium I can make from this, and then I'm going to see if I can make power armor firstly, then a, a titanium auger, and then titanium uh, second laser blade, and perhaps even a multi-tool. If we can get all of these purple, guys, it's going to have us set. Okay, now this looks like one of the bigger rocks. See, the texture in this thing is messed up, and there's just rocks everywhere. I'm just trying to make sure we have enough resources now so that we don't... Get screwed later on and have to return. Um, where's the exit over here now? Oh wow, that's a little bit of a drop. Um, okay, there's an ex uh, exit over there as well. Let's just see if I can stack up on my frames then to get out of here. Anyways, um, she said that I, I'm guessing Killer Bunny 264 is a la uh, lady. Um, I'm not sure, I apologize if you're a dude. <laughs> but um, the reason we need titanium is the next ward we might encounter the flying demon with 4000 HP and guys I'm never ever again mining during the night in this biome I encountered the incubus and the incubus is the boss demon guy the, the one with a lot of health and stuff now the problem with that guy is he has 7.5 thousand HP and as soon as he takes damage it shoots up to 22,000 I emptied three stacks of uh, M4A1 ammo on my PC rounds, I have blessed metal everything. It didn't do anything. So I decided, you know what, in front of the trader, because he was trying to break in. What I decided to do, rather, is I went in front of the trader, because as you guys can see, there are guards up there on that catwalk over there. I just, I ran uh, with him over here and sliced him with my laser sword so they could kill him. And because they killed him, uh, he didn't drop any loot, unfortunately. 
I wish I knew that, otherwise I would have tried to kill him myself. Um, I thought I have to do continuous damage to him the whole time. But apparently you can just do that, shoot him up, and then cut him again, shoot him up. You just have to do it in intervals. Because it uh, actually lasts a little while when you cut him like that. And I didn't know that. I thought it was going to start healing as soon as I stopped using my sword. But yeah, so, um, and also, um, Killer Bunny 264 suggested I make laser weapons, which is also why I'm over here, guys. All of this stuff, I know. <laughs> I've just been so lazy to do. So now that we finally have the resources for it, I really want to see if we can get some stuff done. I'm actually considering not buying anything at the moment over here. Unless it's like really good armor or something like that. But other than, I'm not going to buy anything now. What I think I should do is first see if I can sell a few things. Um, I'm going to have to go to the other trader as well, but not now. What I first want to do this episode is do some looting uh, in a PRI close by. It's a storage facility. You're welcome. And then I want to make those um, extra M4A1s and come sell them with the other stuff. With that, we should have enough tokens to really get some stuff going. And I want to put these in my forge and see if I can make power armor before we come back to this biome. Because guys, we're going to need it for these demons. 22,000 HP. I mean, um, Kynes actually said, why don't you just use armor piercing rounds? And I told him, I'm using 3-4 stacks and it did zero damage. So these things are OP as hell. You just need a laser weapon or something to stop the healing. Okay, so let's first see. Uh, we need to put a few things away. We are going to loot this building over here. It's a storage facility. Uh, let's go to the front over there. Might be a mistake, might not. Let's see. And then also, I don't care about the demons. The, the behemoths are easy to take down. It's just the demons, guys, that I have a really hard time killing. It's like insanely hard killing those. Okay, so stuff we might sell. I'm going to keep on me. Stuff we're going to keep, I'm going to put in there. As you guys might have noticed. Um, what do I want to say again? <laughs> Uh, I wanted to say something just now, but I've completely lost track of what I wanted to say. Damn, okay, anyways, let's go. I hit him when I, when I'm so focused on something that I completely forgot what I was about to say. There was something about the loot I have on me, but that's okay for now. We'll just, I'll remember what I wanted to say later. For now, let's just go focus on looting that thing over there. We actually killed a ton of demons, guys. When I started making noise mining, demons and demons, just wave after fire, fire demons, the normal zombie demons started showing up and that was insane and then finally uh the guards and i were able to kill him and then i saw an exclamation mark in the distance i thought okay let me try this thing what is that turns out I, that was a big mistake because that was the incubus demon hello where's that bolter hello come down thank you at least i didn't get a hit over there or get hits over there okay that's a behemoth i'm wondering if that's the no that's a normal one Remember, there's a normal one like this. The way she falls is really weird. There's a normal one like that, and then there's a green one. The green one is the radiated boss one. Okay. I'm making noise, so more and more zombies are going to start spawning. See, that's a big problem of uh, building in this wasteland. I actually wanted to, like I said in the past videos, uh, build in the wasteland over here, guys. But I decided against it when I saw the demon. Because like I said, I saw an exclamation mark. And I thought, you know what, what is that? Let me, let me shoot it and test it out. And when it got closer, I instantly regretted what I did. I mean, that thing was so OP, I wasted all my cash. I wasted all my ammo. Come on. Hopefully not all the streamers spawn zombies. Okay, so she climbed in underneath me just now. See, the problem is this gun is so loud, it's calling all the zombies in the area, and I want to clear out this place. So clearing out this place is going to spawn even more zombies. And I really want to get to the base and put the resources in those in that advanced forge, or rather the um, fusion forge. Now, the reason I want the armor, guys... Oh, crap. There's demons in there. Just look at the damage this guy just did. Come on, one more shot. Okay, anyways... Um, uh, the, I want to get the power armor going because then I can equip a light to it. Reload this. At the moment, hazmat um, helmet, you can't equip anything. But with the power, or a power helmet, you can. You're able to. Can I loot that over there? Yes, thank you. Open this up for me. Okay, so they can come into me. While I'm in here, I can focus a little bit on uh, opening these up. At least in a room like this, I can spray at the door and kill the zombies. I don't have to worry too much. I just hope this place really does have a ton of awesome loot in it. 
I should use my multi-tool, but I can just as well get resources that way. Okay, so let's test this out. Hello. The problem is they can also jump in like that if they try it, so I need to hurry up for this. The nice thing is I have these burn shaft mods, or burning shaft mods, on all my tools. So at least I'm able to see in the dark of here. So switch a tool, at least you guys can see as well. Ooh, I need to do power attacks though, it seems. Okay, where are these zombies coming from? The left. No, 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 no. Whoa, what was that? Hello, demon. I couldn't understand why the radiator guy went down and exploded. Damn, there's demons behind me as well. Uh, it seems there's stuff in there as well, so we need to be careful. Let's crouch. Let's see if this... Nope, doesn't wake in up anything behind me. Look at all these paintings. Wow. Okay, so that is not worth grabbing. I just hope there's no zombies on top of these places. That's going to suck if they all of a sudden fall in on your head. Just have to watch out for normal zombie spawns. These are jammed, meaning they're going to be empty. I hate it when I loot these and they're empty. I'm actually... I, on the one hand, I want to make noise so that the zombies come, because the more zombies come, the more of a challenge there is. Also, you guys, are you, as you are aware, I want to... I want to increase the difficulty settings, but after seeing that Incubus Demon, I'm really con uh, reconsidering it. Because they're already so tough. Now, if I up the settings... They're going to be indestructible. There's no way I can kill that guy on survivalist. Um, I think they're going to regen faster as well. So we need to be careful of stuff like that. Okay, so there's not a ton of awesome things in here though. I really expected more from this place. I mean, if I find a hidden stash, awesome. But at the moment, it's not looking good. I'm actually considering making noise, letting them come out to me. It might just be easier getting stuff done when they come to you. Okay, there's a box right there, cardboard, nothing in it. Well, it is just a storage place, so the chance of there being really good loot in here is low. Um, if there's like a secret stash or something, then yeah, sure. But at the moment, it doesn't look promising. Now I wonder, do I open from this side or are there doors on the other side? It seems like there's no doors on that side. Yep, this is the doorway. Hello, hello. Let me just loot this for you. Wait, what did I just wake up? There's a soldier right here. No, that's a feral wife. Okay, so let's kill these zombies. Also you guys, that red zombie that I was seeing, or a red dog, um, it's called a hellhound. The hellhounds look like uh, dire wolves, the black ones, but they're red, like they've been skinned. So it's a really creepy looking kind of dog. Where is that noise coming from? Hello, I thought I heard something. And you're muted going to your big one. I want, don't want to open up too much of here because then too many zombies can get in. As it stands already, there's way too many zombies going to be able to get in. Okay, so I should technically quickly pick these up. And reload them. The one's already completely empty, which is really, really bad for me. Especially if I get charged, then these can protect me. So let's put the one there. The other one. I should actually face them both ways. Oh, crap. I need to get back. So I can get that screamer before she sees me. Can I get her? Oh, crap. She screamed, and these screamers spawn demons. Okay, now my gun disappeared again. Yeah, there's already a demon to the left. At least it doesn't seem like a really fast one. Okay, there's one over there. It's just a feral white demon. Dead you go. Where's the others? Did this one on the other side? Or is it just these two that came? Damn, I had... Okay, there is zombies on the other side. They're act actually making noise at the moment. So we need to watch out for them storming this place. Okay, so we should be able to do these places quite fast. Uh, there's not a ton of stuff to loot, so it's quite easy getting through this place. And now, oh, hello. What's this? Oh! She was nightmare speed just now. It's weird when I see zombies faster than the footballers. Especially since I know the footballers are so damn fast. Okay, so I really thought there'd be way better loot in this place, guys. But at the moment, I'm really kind of disappointed. 
I mean, if there's a secret stash, I might take back my words, but at the moment... Oh, hello. Oh, at the moment, it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. Okay, did they open up over here? Yes, thank you. Okay, garage boxes. That's what I want to see. Not just normal cardboard boxes. Tazza's... No, I thought it might be a Tazza's chest because it's red. Or dark red. Okay, let's keep going. The faster I do this, the better. We need to get out of this place and start really playing this game. Now, my turrets are on the other side. I should really bring them with me. Wait, what is this? Did I just wake up the zombies in this place? Please tell me I did. It's going to be awesome if I can kill them through the hidey hole like this. And then go inside and loot. Oh, hello, Papa. That could have been bad. Oh, nice. There's a safe in there. That might just be worth it. I might just have to quickly go fetch my turrets so they can protect me while I'm busy looting over here. Because it seems like this section might have the good loot in it. I just have to watch out for zombies coming through those gaps over there. Any zombies over here? Hello, hello. Oh crap, another one. Okay, I think I killed her before she screamed. Which is good for me. I just hope I did. Oh, wow. These are completely... Okay, so my repair kit's on my bike over here. But damn, they're completely wrecked. Okay, so let's just grab one stack with us. Or stack of six. I can't believe that I took that much damage just now. Damn it. Okay, so. Uh, let's do this. We can put one facing this way. And the other one facing that way. So if they come from that side, at least this one will warn me. Nice, gun parts. Guys, guys, like I said, I'm going to mass produce guns now and see which sell the best. I mean, I didn't even think about that. We can already make red quality, so we don't need that many gun parts. Just do that. Do this. There we go. Okay. I actually want to see, as soon as we have the power armor, I want to see if we can... Where's that dog? Where's that dog? Inside, outside. There you go. Hello. As soon as we have the power armor, I want to see if I can go do that uh, factory quest. As you guys know, there's a uh, level 5 clear quest for a factory. Oh, this is like a prison. Level 5 clear quest for a prison... Uh, oh, not for a prison. <laughs> for a uh, factory very close by. I think it's this one over here. No, that's a dig quest. Where is that one? It's very close... Oh, there it is. That's the factory. So this is a factory. I think it's a, it might be a, just a shotgun factory or something. But we're going to see if we can actually go loot that. But we first need the power armor to be able to get all our mods on there. Because the hazmat suit is way too weak. I'd say the hazmat suit is more for exploring and adventuring. And then the power armor is for fighting zombies. Okay, please, 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 please. And mods and stuff that I can sell. I'm not re really one for using the mods I find. I mostly sell them and if I need something I just make it. Because just now you keep it on you, but it's just a waste of time if you're never going to use it. Okay, so I need more repair kits. All of those on my bike. Don't need that. That sells way too little. Only stuff that really sells for a ton I'll keep from now on. Otherwise, it's not going to be worth it. It's just going to take up inventory space. Hello, birdie. Okay, let's see this one. Of, no, that's the next side of the prison. So I should really be looting these bags as well. Let's just do that. And, whoops. Reload. Need to make sure these guns are reloaded at all times. And the only problem that sucks is you can't loot while it's putting in ammo like that. Okay, so dogs can get through these small holes over here. I need to be careful of that. At least it doesn't seem like there's anything in this area over here. Let's just see if there's something at the back. No. Guys, I actually considered... Ooh, there's two beamers over there. I actually considered uh, making a base over here, like I said. But it's just... One, the frame rate is really terrible. And two... Um, the, the it's gonna be too difficult with the demons of here. Remember, the demons are common, a uh, common place of here. Oh crap, that's already open. Okay, so in these hay bales, there should be some loot. Yep. Please tell me these are secret stashes, hidden stashes. Let's just open it up like this, like this. Thank you, thank you. More of here. Yes, thank you. Another hidden stash. We can destroy this one to get to the one at the bottom. Hidden stash. Not a ton of great stuff, but at least there is some awesome stuff over here. Okay, so these zombies are trying to break out towards me. Should probably stop that one first. I need to make sure the ones that really pose a threat go down first. Okay, this side of here. Ooh, there's something in there. 
Um, just need to remember, it's the second one now. Where's that dog? Hello. Make sure we kill the dogs because they explode and do a ton of damage. From there, I thought I saw zombies coming from that direction. I need to be really, really careful when going through these places. Especially like, for example, over here. If a cop vomits over here, I'm screwed. Doesn't stop me from just jumping in, which is a really bad thing. Okay, so let's see if I can quickly open this up. There you go, thank you. Okay, so now, once again. Yep, secret stash. Secret stash might be at the back, so let's just pick the bottom ones up as well. Man, okay, so the beginning few of these were actually really bad, but the rest of them, with all these hidden stashes, it might just be worth it. Although I should have really brought myself some lucky looter goggles or things like this. And also from now on, I need to remember, when I do the Blood Moon, I need to go back. That dog is dead, right? Um, I need to go back and grab my Lucky Looter goggles before facing, the, uh, before looting the stuff from the Horde. That way I might just get really awesome things. Okay, so before I loot this through... Wait, which one is it? This one is still locked. Before I loot that one with a safe, I need to put my Lucky Looter goggles on for once and try and see if I can get something awesome from it. Okay, so there are zombies trying to get into this place. You can actually hear them wailing on things. Need to watch out for that. Hello. Yep, Demons. The way she falls is really, really weird. It's an awkward kind of fall. Okay, there's a dog somewhere. And the gun is gone, but at least I see the cursor still. Where's the other one? There were two behemoths in that group. Okay, so let's see what other loot. Oh, yes! Hunter class. Do I know this one already? No, I don't. Use that. Thank you. Finally. Okay. So the more classes I can uh, master like this, the better. If that means I need to come to this biome, then I'll come to this biome. Okay, how long is it going to take to break through this? It's 2.5. This is also 2.5. So technically, I can just break through this and jump in. Just remember, you can jump a whole block. Or, or rather, you can crawl through one block like this. So you might actually be able to use this in your defense as well. Except the dogs also can fit through that. So you need to be careful of stuff like that. Let's just do this. Destroy the doorway. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I hear zombies and stuff, so you need to be careful. Okay, where are these guys coming from? I don't want to look away and all of a sudden there's demons and stuff. Okay, nice. Cash. There's still a screamer zombie there, so I need to watch out for that. Okay, so it seems we got all these rooms now after we got to get this one. Uh, let's just block that up in case a spider decides to join us in here. Now, please tell me I have something awesome in you. Uh, not really. Damn, okay. So there's a ton of secret stash boxes over here, but not really a ton of good loot. Hello, hello, hello there, spider. Okay, so, guys, I know I actually piss a lot of you guys off by scrapping canned food. But if you have proper food, why eat uh, canned food? It's a waste. Okay, so let's just do this and this. Uh, we need to quickly open this up. I actually hope I didn't miss anything, like an underneath, underground bunker or something like that. Okay, so you can stay crouched, jump up, go forward. Damn. Okay, sometimes you actually really struggle hitting that one. Hitting that block. Okay, so. Ooh, hello. Didn't see you there earlier. There must have been this uh, the spider zombie just now that got killed. Also, guys, that's when I'm uh, crouched. You see the fire over animals sometimes, that sign. So that's what it means, I think. Okay, let's get going. We need to get out of here and get our laser weapons and stuff going. Hopefully we have enough titanium at the moment to really get the ball going. I hope we have enough at least for the titanium auger so we can mine more titanium quicker. So at the moment, our auger is just way too slow. It takes forever to break through 5,000 HP. Okay, I think I killed this zombie earlier, so let's just loot this at least. Ooh, nice. Look at the AK. Guys, there's a ton of awesome buildings over here, so that's what makes me think I should really come and live in this biome. But on the other hand, there's so much lag, so much stutter. And I don't know if it's worth living in that much stutter. Okay, so let's just break through this quickly. Uh, come on. All like that. I just want to crouch, jump through, and... No, no, jump up and in. Thank you. If I get stuck in here now with a tough zombie, I'm going to be so mad at myself. It seems like there's nothing in these rooms. Let's just quickly go inside and check. And also, I need to completely destroy these doors to get as much brass from them as possible. It doesn't seem like there's anything in here. There is a roof access, so you need to be careful of that. 
Okay, so I am getting full again. And the thing is, I can scrap most of these things. Wood, we don't need. Um, stone, we don't need. Canned food, we don't need. I know a lot of you guys don't like that. <laughs> but we don't need it, so what's the point? Okay, so schematics and stuff, I still need to scrap as I get them. Because they take up unnecessary space. Where is that one now? I just saw a schematic for something right there. Uh, it's for a drink, so let's look for a drink. Oh, there it is. Yep. Now, time to go upstairs. It's a little bit dark, I do apologize guys, but unfortunately... Okay, he's a massive one, so he can't see us. This one... If I can get around him... You know what, I might just have to kill him like this. Because he's a runner, I don't want to take a chance with my sword. Okay, so that should have been the only ones in here, right? I think. I heard more zombies sleeping, but I'm not sure if it was this guy I was hearing, or other zombies. Okay, so let's quickly open the safe and these boxes and then loot them together. Guys, what editing software can you recommend where I can have, for example, say I'm talking about that uh, Incubus I saw. Where I can, while I'm talking about him, have him just scroll past the screen so you guys can see what he looks like. Um, at the moment, I'm using Windows Movie Maker. It's outdated. You don't even get updates for it anymore. So if it gets off my system, I always struggle my hardest to get it back. Um, but yeah, I, I need something that I can do really proper editing with. That's going to look way better as well. Okay, let's see. We don't need nails. We can scrap that. Grab that. Okay, that should be it for this place. I don't think I missed anything. There might be stuff that we missed. But for now, I just want to get out of this biome and get those weapons and tools going. The sooner we have that, the sooner we'll be set. Okay, so we need to go. Which direction? Also, guys, as you can see, there is now a quest in that... Uh, uh, hospital over there, so I might need to go back there soon, but at the moment it's fine. Let's see, is it safer to take the road? No, let's go straight over here. So we'll go over the passes there, the hills, go around and go to the base like that. Unfortunately, there's just way too many cars and obstacles in the way over here. What is that? I can't remember what that is. Oh, that's just a massive PRI. It, uh, it's one of those with a ton of forges and small buildings for forges and things like that. Okay, so we're going to go this direction and quickly see if we can get those tools and weapons going. If we can get that up and running, guys, the next... Oh, hello, Snakey. Um, the next episode is going to be much easier, especially if we come looting in this biome again. Now, where's my marker? I really want to see if we can go through all these towers and special PIs and everything, but first, we need that power armor. I'm not going to loot anything over here until we have that power armor. Because then at least we have proper armor on us should we want to go through the banks and special... There's a ton of special PIs. Let's look at this uh, place. It looks so awesome. Oh, I know this place. There's uh, like almost like a mini zoo inside and there's a bunker downstairs with a ton of zombies littered everywhere. That place is going to be especially difficult considering that uh, there's a ton of demon spawns these days. So we're going to really, really struggle. Guys, okay, so basically that small tech bunker I was talking about is very close, uh, it's like 25 meters away from another one of these pure eyes. So we're looking for another um, train, train station like, it might even be this one, we just need to follow the grav paths, gravel paths. It might be up there. Uh, we need to follow these paths to really find that tech bunker because then we can get more laser weapons and stuff from that. If we can loot one of those, we might just get all the energy cells and stuff we need for w when we start using laser weapons. At the moment, laser ammo is going to be the really tough thing to get. I wonder if that was a bandit or what was that because there was a shot fire just now. Also guys, next episode I want to come finish this place up. We didn't get to finish last time we were here because of all those um, demons and screamers and behemoths. It was just so hectic. It was fun, but it was hectic. So we need to go finish that up because there's still a ton of loot waiting for us in there, I think. I think what I might just do is do two episodes per in-game day. Uh, for two in-game days, so that's four episodes. And then during night time, uh, while my stuff is cooking up in the forges, do a little bit of exploring. Because I, I want to see what's in this biome over here. Is, are there more traders? What's going on over here? If I go up there, the tech bunker might be there. So it, it's just, I need to f uh, completely explore this map. Just look at all the space left. North, the whole north is still unexplored because we've only been stuck in the south the whole time. Okay, so we need to grab everything, do some sorting. Although my inventory is super, super full. And then let's just quickly make a bulk amount of the M4A1. If I can get that sold at the traders, I'm going to be flowing in cash. But I want to see how much that one shotgun I can make also sells for. Because I'm going to make myself a red one, and then I'm going to make the rest as well. As I get more parts, I'll start saving those up. So let's just do a little bit of inventory sorting first. 
Oh, nice. I just noticed that one of the items I picked up was a purple junk turret. So I'm going to swap that out with one of my blue ones if it's better. Because sometimes it's not better even though it looks better. To think, I still need to fix all of this up before the next horde episode. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that. Because this at least, I want to make this whole row over here and this row over here, titanium. So that even if the blade traps go, the walls still hold. If I'm not mistaken, this has how much HP? 10,000. So it has two and a half times more HP upgrading it to titanium. So we need those titanium blocks. Okay, so this is how it works it seems. You can smelt in titanium over here to be able to make laser pistol rifles and stuff like that. Laser parts. What do you need for this? There's a ton of titanium. So what I think I'm going to do is about a hundred and something. I'm going to smelt in there. And then I just need to make sure that I'm doing this right. Because over here, we need for the laser sword, just the forged titanium. Uh, what do I need more? Oh, wait, what was that? Energy cell? No, no, no. It was something that only required nanites. Accelerated healing shot. Okay, that's the class that's uh, closed off to us now. Okay, so enriched uranium, yeah, you get from over here, right? Yeah, okay, so that's the right place to put that in. But the rest of the titanium needs to be put in these over here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to split that in two and use two of these forges so it's going to be a little bit faster. Because with this, we should be able to get ourselves... Ooh, wait, I also put a ton of resources in it for steel. Damn, I should quickly put this steel in as well. Um, I quickly want to make the weapons and see... Uh, how much I'll get for like the red shotgun and the red M4A1. Um, I think it's still the same, 7 point something. But I mean, if I can drink the grandpa's awesome sauce before I sell it, I might just be able to get way more. So if we check this, where is that? Shotgun stock. Let's grab all of the shotgun parts. And that, okay. And then we need... I need to actually make myself the um, M60 as well, but I'm actually curious to see... If I can make it, I think I can. The order stocks, let's see, AK. No, we don't need the AK, we need the... Where is that piece now? M4A1. Okay, so we need that one. The M cache, I'd rather put away for now. Um, I should be able to make myself a red M, uh, AK, right? Just want to make sure. AK, no. Okay, so it's not going to be worth making that one. I will be get, able to get a pretty penny for it, but not as much as the M4A1. Okay, and then let's just quickly see. I mastered hunt, the hunter class, right? Yeah. Okay, so what does that give me? Craft 10 ability, increases range and duration of your tracking ability, titanium knives and titanium ammo. Advanced extended mod, but I already can make that one. Okay, so let's quickly make these guns and see how much I'll get for them. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm making 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 MK41s. So I can now put away those parts at least. That is auto, 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 and M4A1. Technically, I can make one more. Um, the reason being, I don't need another M4A1 at the moment. Later on, I might just need it, so then it will come in handy. Let's put that in as soon as that one's crafted. Let's do that. This one sells for 6.6. .6. So this one, it is because it's modded that we get a little bit more for... Oh, wait, why? I was in the trade, and the trader wanted it for 7 point something. Okay, I'm confused. Anyways, that's a ton of cash we'll be able to get anyways from a gun. So three guns alone will almost be a stack of 20k. And then this one... 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, I don't know if it's worth it. If we do, uh, drink the uh, grandpa's awesome sauce, it might be. So let's just quickly craft those as well. But other than that, I don't know if it's going to be worth it. So let's just make 12 as well. That should be enough for now. So I'm just going to put this stuff away, guys. I'm going to smelt in some uh, titanium over here, forged titanium. And then see if we can make ourselves some power armor for one. And then also, we need to get ourselves a titanium auger so I can go mining with that and titanium tools. Yeah, if you guys liked this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback, the missing thing, you guys have any more tips for me on what I can sell, what I can do. Um, my plans to not build in the wasteland anymore because of the stutter. Anything at all, leave your comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.